Tonight, the nationwide crackdown on this growing epidemic of car park thefts in what officials are calling a half a billion dollar criminal enterprise. They're blatant. They'll just wall in here. They'll look up the camera. They'll have a mask on and walk right by. They don't really seem to care. They can roll underneath one, 30 seconds, roll back out, and leave. This surveillance video showing thieves stealing nine catalytic converters from school buses in New Jersey. At this RV storage facility near Dallas, they moved with breathtaking efficiency. I guess they look at it as a shopping mall of catalytic converters. The converters are embedded in the exhaust systems of most cars and trucks, making auto emissions less harmful. They contain precious metals, including rhodium, palladium, and platinum, whose value has skyrocketed in recent years. Some of the metals are $26,000 an ounce. Um, so you can see why, you know, um, it's very expensive uh, repair to make, number one, but number two, why it's such a common crime. Federal authorities raiding this auto parts shop in New Jersey, arresting 21 people in all across eight states. The defendants charged today are accused of buying the stolen converters, where they go for $1,000 on the black market. One of the accused, Navin Khanna, posted a photo of a catalytic converter necklace with a winking face emoji on social media. Authorities raided his $1.7 million New Jersey home. He could not be reached for comment today. In Oklahoma, multiple law enforcement agencies raided a Tulsa facility where they found them stacked in piles. The National Insurance Crime Bureau says 12 times as many catalytic converters were stolen in 2021 compared to 2019. The crime wave turning tragic last April. Houston Deputy Sheriff Darren Almendarez was shot and killed when he tried to stop thieves from stealing his convert. You know, we're tired of this crime in our community. We're tired that people aren't even safe to go out to the grocery store. This is a cop. This is a cop that's just out with his family. It could be any one of us. The defendants in today's arrest are charged with various offenses, including transporting stolen property and money laundering. They face decades in prison. FBI Director Christopher Wray said in a statement tonight that these defendants stole hundreds of millions of dollars from thousands of innocent car owners. Meanwhile, if you're wondering how to tell whether your catalytic converter has been removed, you won't see it, but you will hear it as soon as you start the vehicle. The engine should emit a loud roar, almost as if there was a hole in the muffler. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.